A new Wordle puzzle is online. Click on the link to play. Listening to the following video may give you clues. Please like and share the videos. Celtics fans can start dreaming about a championship. The Boston Celtics have been running roughshod over the NBA the last four months. They've swept Brooklyn, Golden State, and Denver, and they led the league in scoring margin, opponent points allowed, and net rating since Geno. Now it's time to start dreaming about a championship. Here are some reasons why the Celtics are a top contender for a championship. After all, it has been four months since the Celtics won their last playoff series. Boston Celtics. If you've been a fan of the Boston Celtics for a while, you've probably been wondering when the team will finally become a contender again. While fans have been spoiled with consistent disappointment, the recent turnaround has them excited. They have a new head coach, and their players are vastly improved from the squad that started the 2020 Unimanus 22 NBA season. They'll play under the leadership of I'm Yudoka, who is known as a passionate player and coach. A few years ago, Boston Celtics fans were skeptical of Ime Udoka, an ex-assistant of Greg Popovich. However, Udoka stayed true to his principles, changing the defensive scheme and attacking habits of the Celtics. His team's offense has improved significantly since he took over the franchise, turning Boston into a modern-day Pistons. Although the new coach isn't likely to win Coach of the Year honors, he has helped the Celtics immensely. While there are many reasons why fans are excited about this year's Boston Celtics, the team's current performance is the biggest reason why fans should be happy. The team has a great young core and is capable of advancing to the NBA playoffs. If they don't win a conference championship, the team won't make it. But the Celtics have started dreaming about the title, and now, they are ready for the next challenge. Jason Tatum Jason Tatum's hot shooting and versatility are two key components in a championship winning team, and he's been one of the best players in the NBA in clutch situations. His 92 points in the clutch this season ranked ninth in the NBA in March. He averaged 33.6 points per game while shooting a career low 35.4% from three. In other words, Tatum is heating up right when the Celtics need it most. With the talented lineup, this team can compete with any NBA team. With Curie Irving and Al Harford leading the way and the young duo of Jason Tatum and Brown, they have no fear. In fact, the Celtics are capable of beating any team, even the top teams. Jason Tatum, who is still just a teenager, has the talent to make the team an elite team. While there are many reasons why the Celtics would love to trade for Tatum, his most obvious reason is that Kevin Durant has requested a trade to the Celtics. However, given the fact that the team has a good chance of retaining Durant, it will be difficult for Denny Ainge to justify a trade for Jason Tatum. The Celtics would receive Hayward, Brown, and two first-round picks in exchange for Tatum. The Celtics can start dreaming about a championship if Tatum plays at a high level for the final three months of the season. Len Bias While Len Bias may be a long way off from the championship, Celtics fans can start thinking about a championship with him. He was drafted second overall in 1986 by the Miami Heat and was one of the best defensive players ever. Unfortunately, he was not a healthy person and passed away a few months later from cocaine-related cardiorespiratory arrest. If you want to see a full-length documentary on Bias, click here. Bias had the chance to become a superstar in the NBA after signing an endorsement deal with Reebok. When he was just a high school student, he was slated to be picked up by Laurie Bird and brought to Hellenic College to play basketball. Unfortunately, he died unexpectedly in his dorm room at University of Maryland. It was a tragic end for a promising career that not only changed the future of the Boston Celtics, but the NBA as a whole. In the Boston Garden game, Bias was the star, scoring 24 points. However, he did not capitalize on his fame. Bias played against Michael Jordan and everyone else. The Celtics were a storied franchise with a rich history of winning the championship. The next generation Celtics can start dreaming about a championship with Len Bias. Reggie Lewis For a decade, Reggie Lewis and the Boston Celtics were dreams. He was quiet, team captain, all-star, and a model citizen. Little did Lewis know. He would be the bridge between the Celtics of the Big Eight era and continued success in the 1990s. 
In the 1990 Tominus 93 postseason, Lewis collapsed on the court during a game, showing symptoms of dizziness and fainting. After the game, Lewis was taken to the New England Baptist Hospital, where doctors monitored his condition and sought a second opinion from the chief of cardiology at Brigham and Women's Hospital. After a year and a half of litigation, the Celtics cleared drive. Gilbert Mudge of malpractice after seven years of litigation. But the rumors about Lewis' health and drug abuse were not buried. Despite his tragic death, Lewis' legacy was damaged by the scandal. In addition to the tragedy of losing his life, his death has caused the Celtics to mourn their beloved player. However, fans of the Celtics have never forgotten Reggie Lewis and the dreams of a championship in 1995. Lewis was one of the best players in the NBA and was in the midst of a championship run. While his career ended prematurely, it was his presence on the court that fueled the Celtics' resurgence and made the Celtics dream about a championship so realistic. Reggie's career was incredibly memorable and his career was still just beginning. There was no greater tribute to Reggie Lewis and the Boston Celtics than his tragic death. Marcus Smart While Marcus Smart has not consistently been a first-team All-Star, he is very popular in Boston and gives good performances on a consistent basis. Celtics fans are hopeful that he will remain in Boston for good. After all, the Boston Hawks have dreamed of acquiring Smart for years. If he stays in Boston, fans can finally start dreaming about a championship. Despite the nagging issues of a young team, Marcus Smart's growth as a player should excite fans. The point guard has been a constant presence in the lineup this season, but he has also displayed a desire to improve. This is evident in his desire to rebound and find guys out of double teams and make reads when there is a small window to shoot. Coaches have enjoyed watching Smart and his teammates develop over the years. Since Brown's return from his hamstring injury, the Celtics have gone 27-7. This is an exceptional stretch for a team that lost four games in a row. Their record since Jan 23 is the best in the Eastern Conference since that time. They are the best scoring defense in the NBA since Marcus Smart came back. They have also been able to hold opponents to less than 42 points per game in the paint. Larry Bird If you're a fan of basketball, then you're probably wondering what Larry Bird's career was like. He was a rookie and was considered too slow for the professional game, but Bird proved otherwise by leading the Boston Celtics to the best record in the league, a 32-game improvement over the previous season. In addition, he was named Rookie of the Year. While he played three seasons on the bench, he was a major part of the Celtics' success in the playoffs. He made six field goal attempts, including a game-winning three-pointer against the Lakers who were led by Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal. Bird had just missed his first two shots of the game, but made them all to put the Celtics up a comfortable lead. After the season, he will live in French Lick, where he built a house with a basketball court and satellite dish. He is a great sportsman, and he's also a friend of his partner Max Gibson, a business partner at Lurie Bird Ford Lincoln Mercy in Martinsville. Bird has a large collection of memorabilia, and he recently made a shrine in his honor. The late 1970s was a tough time for Boston, but a certain legend emerged in the organization. Larry Bird and the Celtics went on to win three NBA titles and ten Atlantic Division crowns. Bird was the first non-center to win three consecutive NBA MVP awards. The team won the NBA championship in 1982 and the finals three times.